Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising uh, monthly tarot reading for August uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which stands for our topic of the month is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Man, that so much resonates with me. It's, it's not even funny. <laughs> anyway, so the next card which stands for the peripheral activities that we can go for, we do have the Queen of Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome. And these cards are not even funny, man. I mean, it's the Four of Swords. Afterwards is going to be the um, positive aspect of the month for us. That is going to be the five of um, the five of wands, and a fifth card which stands for the guidance that Saro is offering to us. This will be the hierophant card. So these five cards. And uh, it seems that this is going to be a month where uh, we will simply have to put um, efforts behind, all right? It, it is a month where a, a long time thing or a, a, a you know, a aim of ours or a goal that kind of like we deliberated on, uh, we planned for, you know, or we simply dreamed, finally has its circumstances right in a way where you can start doing something about it, all right? Uh, for me personally, I will say right now, uh, the last week, um, me and my manager, we talked because many people were asking, hey, Rad, what are those, uh, you know, active supporters, active enemies, passive enemies that you're talking about into your reading? Well, this is an advanced technique called Elemental Dignities, and me and my manager are working right now upon a, um, let's say, an online course where I am going to in-depth explain how it works, how you are to incorporate it in your readings, how to identify it, all right, and how to read it with ease. It's, it's as simple as that. And um, it's, these, uh, these cards are pointing that that is to be initiated in the month of August, which the plan is. And to be honest, this thing about the online courses was in my mind for a, a so long time, but the Four of Swords is still on my way, which in this case speaks laziness, all right? And according to these cards, this thing ain't gonna happen on its own accord. It's I have to put the efforts behind. So this is how the reading reflects me for the month of August. But before we go into the general uh, expression of the reading, <clears throat> 
you know, let's uh, and scrutinize it. Let's run down the cards one more time. So we do have the five of pen uh, the eight of pentacles as the first card, which stands for the topic, followed by the second one, which regards to the peripheral activities. This is going to be the queen of wands. Afterwards is going to be the four of swords, which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome. Then it is the five of wands, which represents the uh, positive aspect of the month. And finally, is going to be the high, the higher fund, which is the guidance that we should incorporate throughout the month. So five of uh, eight of pentacles, excuse me, guys. It does point that throughout the month, we Scorpio are going to have that real eye for the subtleties, for what it takes. You know, one thing to be uh, to be established, either career or either relationship wise, which does not guarantee to us that the thing is gonna work out. It is just guarantee that we are gonna become aware what it takes and. From there, it's it going to depend on us. You know, are we going? Are we willing to um, do what it takes in order to make it happen, or should we be lazy and just do nothing about it? All right. Additionally to that, the Eight of Pentacles, especially when it comes to private businesses and it, it, it career, it does reflect a lot of orders, a lot of work as well, a work that is gonna build up a name for you. Very, very potent month for, uh, like I said, private businesses. And if you have scheduled your holidays for the month of August, maybe you want to reconsider, all right? Or it's most likely you will have to, you know, come earlier from the uh, from this holiday because your company is going to be overloaded for what it seems with the Eight of Pentacles. But... Uh, <clears throat> On a more profound level, the Eight of Pentacles reflects to the real um, advance, a real current, a real flux, which means that everything has its ups and downs. So if you are in a relationship, for example, with the Eight of Pentacles, you can expect to work that relationship over, meaning to go through the ups and downs, just like a blacksmith is working out a uh, iron or a steel, you know, it goes through fire and water, two completely different states. The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Cups formation. It is a uh, passive friends that we do have. So <clears throat> with the Eight of Cups, we're talking about a revival, a uh, resuscitation here, and uh, not necessarily of the same situation, but a similar situation. And I would say it is most likely a, a similar situation throughout the month. So let's say that, uh, you know, you recently had a, a poignant experience in regards to a, a love life that you have been either denied, rejected, you know, or someone broke up with you, this month of August is going to make you not being um, in denial of uh, your right to have a happy life. Therefore, this denial or a breakup, you know, or rejection or whatever is not going to be a prerequisite for you to stop dating. Just on the contrary, it's going to serve you as a, uh, as a fuel for you to seek even more tenaciously a new relationship that you can feel yourself very, very happy at. So uh, definitely we're talking about here a much brighter pers perspective upon a thing that you have, that you had a poignant experience back in the days. Then, um, <clears throat> uh, oh, and also could speak about that, yeah, you know, your projects may not be as uh, lucrative right now as you thought uh, as you thought that they're going to be, but it doesn't mean that they're going to fail and you have to put the work behind in order to make them lucrative, all right? So that leads us to the next card, which is the peripheral activities, and that is related to a person here, Queen of Wands. Uh, it, would, it could have a romantic interest, uh, but this romantic interest, in case that is about romantic interest, is going to be uh, revolve itself around a mutual attraction in regards to uh, chemistry that you're going to have in between one another and as well a physical appearance we cannot speak about love right now so we're talking about more of a, a flirting but on a more profound level with this person <clears throat> 
you are to enjoy a lot of experiences you know i mean you are going to enjoy their company enjoy talking with them as well and simply the card could point that you are going to build up a, a very solid friendship with someone whom you can uh, rely to kind of chill out and, and, and go somewhere forgetting about any kind of problems that you are facing, a, a person as well who most likely it is a, a very agile when it comes to mind, meaning that they very well know how, you know, how one can resolve a, a particular situation. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, judgment formation, active supporters. What is going on with these supporters, man? It's it's always supporters this month, so it's, it's kind of like a very intense month. But anyway... <clears throat> With the judgment, well, basically the judgment here points that, that is a, a person who will very well fit with your criteria, meaning that you uh, you are going to be quite amazed, you know, how good you are getting along with this person, regardless if this is going to be uh, with a, a shade of romantic interest, you know, or just a friendship. It just is going to be someone that you are going to be a, a grateful that you now have into your life. Then the next card stands for the um, challenges that you need to overcome. And uh, Four of Swords, not very well comparable with the Eight of Pentacles, to be honest. Here, to me, the Four of Swords speaks mainly about hesitation. It speaks about um, lack of determination to to stir the situation because it's simply, you know, it's going to uh, demand a lot of your time and efforts. And God knows I hate doing things, you know, um, it's just, I'm a lazy person, but that, that, that is just me, you know, to me, the four of swords um, to, talks about laziness, right? And uh, trying to find a way to do it uh, more, it's not even efficiently, guys, it's more like, without with with a bare minimum of efforts which obviously is not the case with the eight of pentacles you need, really need to do the things the way they are supposed to be done all right and um simply the four of pent the four of uh, swords excuse me it does refer to inactivity and the challenge is going to be to just push yourself all right you gotta push yourself to get the job done the accompanied card here is going to be the eight of so the eight of wands formation active uh friends and we're talking about excuses here all right excuses and postponing into the time being more prone to entertain and enjoy yourself rather than to get the real job done all right and it's kind of understandable it's month of august it's it's the holidays okay so you may be on a holiday and just like i said a person who works for you into your business calling you saying you that there is a quiet lot of work and you can simply say well deal with it is what i am paying you for you know um, and continue on entertaining yourself instead of igniting not igniting but let's say start your engine start your car go there and manage the situation yourself because at the end of the day scorpio if you want to do something right you gotta do it yourself guys this is the only way how you are going to be satisfied with um with the work so the next one uh is going to be the positive aspect of the month and that will be the five of uh wants I, that is a very broad card, to be honest. So positively, uh, the card speaks that there are going to be a lot of uh, turnarounds, a lot of uh, pleasant surprises, all right? There are going to be a lot of dynamic into the month, which will allow you to be uh, not exactly busy, but let's say occupied. It will allow you to keep up with it, if I may express it that way. As well, the Five of Wands is one of the best card pointing that you can definitely win things again the, against the odds, especially if we're talking about poignant situations, which we talked about at the start, all right? A poignant situation that you had in the past, but now a better perspective emerges. And there you go, you have the better perspective. But here, with the Five of uh, Wands, you have learned your lesson back in the day, so now you are to approach this situation from a, a much more advantageous angle all right and then we do have the world card which uh, formation it is a active neutrals so uh, with the world card and the five of ones we are talking about a things that can be proceed forward things that doesn't have to end up 
here and now so let's say that you do have a lot of problems into your relationship all right well with these couple of cards uh here and especially with the first couple of cards which are the topic you can definitely work your relationship out you know you don't have to end that relationship here in this month of august definitely things can be done so you can resuscitate it recuperate it and etc etc or if you are about to close your business because you don't have much of a clients well that will is to change throughout the month of august but again you need to be there you have to put the efforts behind so you don't have to the the good experience doesn't have to end here now in this month of august 2019 and finally what we have it is the uh hierophant card right and it does depend uh where this reading takes place because the hierophant is gonna read completely different if it happens into your career or if it happens into your private life so for career the hierophant urges you not to be greedy, all right? Just do the work to build up your name. Do not do it to build up assets. The assets are gonna come on their own accord. For example, I listened to one interview with an actor, Bulgarian actor, and it's, it, it was a very good thing that the person said. I mean, it's something that I never talked about. So they, they asked him, well, is your revenue as an actor a very good revenue? And he said, I am an actor, I am not a business um, a business accountant, you know, I don't care about money. I mean, I care only about the acting. Acting is my diagnose, acting is my life. And the revenue finds me on its own accord. You know, if you are a good actor, if you do what you love, then the money are gonna find you themselves, okay? So that is what you need to do if we're talking about career. Uh, price on the quality rather than on the quantity okay and people will recognize you as a uh, a very good partner should they say that way or as a, a very valuable asset that is not thing only for themselves and they are going to exert a lot of a uh, trust in you and your work that you're putting behind now should we talk about relationship with the hierophant we're talking about mutual trust here which the foundation needs to be laid on so uh if you are having troubles, let's say, into your marriage, here the question, do you love each other, does not stand, but it stands the question how much you trust each other, okay? And that is the fulcrum that you need to uh, work on. Uh, as well, the Hierophant urges you to think about why do you love that specific person. So as you can see, it is a very uh, different interpretation. It depends where the card falls. But the accompanied card is another passive supporter here with the... Um, with the Empress. So the Empress here points that you should not be hasty, not at all, all right? Take your time as much as you need because with these couple of cards, especially with these couple of cards, whatever you sown, you are to reap, either bitter or sweet, okay? It's just how it works. So yeah, Scorpio, it seems quite of a um, fateful month. Right? It comes around uh, here in the month of August and uh, I don't know, I will see how I'm going to face it, but uh, I'm quite excited and uh, I'm so looking forward for it. But yeah, that was uh, your monthly tarot reading for the, August, for the August 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you uh, liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.